Mr. President, colleagues, unlike some of you in this chamber, I actually think that, at least historically, there were cases when the death penalty was fair and just. In Poland, we had a case of Rudolf Hess, the commander of Auschwitz, where he killed over a million people with Zyklon B. Poland brought him back to Auschwitz, and in April 1947, he was hanged. I challenge anybody to tell us that we did the, the, the wrong thing. And it's relevant to Iran because, at least for the uh, clerical regime, the Holocaust is still a controversial matter. It did happen, and one of its perpetrators got his just reserve, deserts. But in Iran, you can get the, penalty, the death penalty, at least according to Wikipedia, for homosexuality, burglary, incestuous relationships, fornication, sexual misconduct, prostitution, political dissidence, sabotage, apostasy, adultery, blasphemy, speculation, disrupting production, recidivist consumption of alcohol, pornography, uh, cowardice, waging war against God, spreading corruption on earth, whatever that is. Iran is believed to execute the most people per capita in the world. And this is a country which, of course, doesn't have a fair or independent judiciary. I would appeal to the leaders of Iran, but um, the president of Iran was a member of the Death Commission in the 19. 88 massacre in which 30,000 political prisoners uh, were murdered judicially. There are political prisoners in Iran who had dared merely to ask about that uh, massacre. People like Maria Makbari Monfared, uh, Kolam Hosseini Kalbi, Said Masuri, Afshin Bemani, Said Shangahech. Mr. Raisi, these, the fate of these people are a testimony to your status as a butcher, and you will be punished for it in this world or the next. Thank you.